All right, welcome back. So in this lecture, we're going to talk about the quick selection tool. So the quick selection tool is right here. It's right by the magic wand tool. So I'm going to click on quick selection and you're going to love this tool. This is a very cool tool. So if I go and I zoom in on this octagon here or polygon, elliptical, okay, and I select the quick selection tool. I'm going to show you the little description here. It's going to make a selection by finding and following the edges in an image. Okay, so you see the example there. Um, so what it's going to do is if I grab... Okay, well, it should be cooperating with me, but it's going to grab everything because there's not an image here. Okay, so what I want you to do is let's go to your favorite web browser, and I'm going to go to google.com, and let's look up kittens. Okay, and I'm going to do images, and I'm just going to grab the cutest kitten I can find. So this one right here, and I'll right-click on that and just save it to the desktop. Okay, and then I'm going to close this, minimize that, and I'm going to go to the kitten report here, right-click, and open this in Photoshop. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use this quick selection tool to just select a kitten. Okay. So you see what happened there. It, it grabbed everything because we went outside the scope of the image. But if I try again and we just do this, right? And really the idea behind this as I goof it up again, the idea behind this is to make it easy to select certain objects in the image. So there we go, success. So if I hit Control C, Control X, I'm going to cut out the kitten from there and then paste the little guy in here. And you can see we still need to do some cleanup, but the idea is, is you select them and then clean them up in here. Okay, so that's that layer. So if I turn these off, Okay, then we can work with the kitten inside of here, and I can use the um, magic eraser tool to cut that out. Now it's going to, because the tolerance level is so high, if I set it to 10, I should clean it up. There we go. So that's how you use the quick selection tool. Now, the magic wand tool, if I right click on the quick selection tool, and do the magic wand tool, what that's going to do is it's going to select by the tolerance level here of 32 um, start set range when sampling color. So if it's selecting the same color, so for this example, if I select this right here, it's going to select everything because there's no tolerance. It's all the same color. All right, but if I go for the the little kitten here. Um, let's see if I can highlight them. There we go, layer five. Okay, so you can see here it's grabbing more of the lighter colors here, right? And if I go back here and select this, we can, you can see it's going to select certain parts of the, the kitten because of the tolerance level. Now if I adjust that to 10, Okay, then what it's going to do is it's going to select everything. So you see the selection tools all, right, all the way around the canvas. Okay. And I think if you hold shift, you can select multiple spots. Yep, there it is. Okay. So I can select more of the kitten than just this because this is just going to go by the color now if i set the tolerance to 50 okay you're going to see it's going to select more of the kitten okay there you go isn't he cute all right so I, there we go and then i dragged him over here so you can see that it selected most of the kitten not all of it but most of it so i'm going to put him back together again 
All right, so that is the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next lecture.